Hey y'all, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to the vlog. All right, today we're going to spend most of the day concentrating on giving my new puppy Lenny a bath. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got a puppy about a week ago. He's eight weeks old, he's a Saint Bernard, um, and he's just an all-round good egg, an awesome block. Um, he's like, like a Fabergé egg, like precious. He's just amazing. Um, but as well as being this good egg, he's also um, a bit of a stinky egg at the moment. Uh, apparently the breeder did give him a little bath before I picked him up a few days, but um, you wouldn't know it now. He, he sinks to high heaven. So today, we're gonna try and get him clean. Um, it's kind of time sensitive. My mum is currently out, so I wanna get it done while she's not here. Um, she's always been a very selfish woman, my mother. Um, and I know she'd only moan about like and getting stuff wet and um, she's, just, she's just a nightmare, always been selfish. And ever since that kind of ovaries dried out and withered up like a unwatered vegetable garden, she's also been really moody. So it's just gonna be easier to get this done while she's not here. Um, right, I'm going to run a bath, I'm going to change out of my top, my super dry, because I don't want to get it super wet, I'm going to stick something a bit older on, uh, and we get him in the bath. Um, I guess before I do, I should give you a little progress report, it's been a week now that I've had him, um, and it's just, it's going better than I could have dreamed of, he's so well behaved, so trainable, and his nature is just so sweet, he's, he's awesome. Um, and as well as kind of just enjoying having him around, like I knew I would, because like, who doesn't enjoy spending time with a puppy? Um, I've also noticed something else happening. It's like he's, he's lit a fire within me. Um, I didn't realize how kind of, I don't want to use the word depressed, but how jaded I've become. I, I basically stopped uploading to my YouTube channel. I was only uploading when something really exciting happened, because I was like, who wants to watch someone else's life? So it was only videos when I got really triggered up, when I got boom, boom, and that, practically never happens anymore so it's just when I got triggered um, but having him caring for me I don't know it's just I feel like that fire has been reignited under me so we're back with the vlogs and I'm going to do them every couple of days I think and they're going to make them better I'm going to make them more organised I've even got a list of stuff we're going to do in them this week like give Lenny a bath get revenge on my slot sister that's another thing um, it's calmed me down and I feel kind of like invigorated again and I've realized that I'm not happy letting that lie with my sister just not talking to her I want to get some revenge and punish her in a very real way so we're gonna vlog that this week um, vlog with the toasters then send them out from a 300k special view properties brackets rent one question mark you guys can come with me send sips out his stuff There's loads of stuff loads of stuff and we're gonna do it all together Right, let's get the bath on. Let's get out of the um, the super dry into something a bit more appropriate, and let's get him in the bath. Just stuck him in. He doesn't seem massively bothered by it at the moment, so we're gonna run with that and just start getting him wet. Put it down, lad. It's all right. It's all right, man. You've been a good boy, aren't you? We just give you a little wash. Oh, well, it's on your water. It's not gonna hurt you this time. It's really not gonna hurt you. I will not let any harm come to you. That could be a two-way street as well. You know, I doubt harm's gonna come to me. I'm very aware, very well versed in self-defense. But if someone tries to suck a punch me or something from behind, uh, you know, take their face off, mate. I'll do the same for you. I see some dog coming up and, you know, trying to bully you or something. I won't stand for it. I've got your back, don't you worry. Now, let's rest of taking this collar off. You've been amazing, Lenny. You have been magnificent, haven't you? Be rolling. He just doesn't care where he sits down, where he punks himself, whether it's in mud, um, whether he's sitting in a place where he's just weed. He pretty much does not care. He's like, I'm sitting here, deal with it. I respect the attitude. Uh, it does leave him very mucky, though. I know, you've been so punching, my man. You've been great. I don't know many dogs who have been this calm. Got my towel here, ready on the floor. Don't you try and jump out, man. I've got you. I've got you, I promise. Don't worry. You are coming out now. Right, oh my goodness. Right, here we go, Lenifer. Here we go, Lenifer. Here he is, here he is. Come on, let's give you a dry. 
I seemed relatively happy, unscathed by the whole experience. Come on. Let him. Come. Come on. Sit. Down. Lie down. Down. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Right, you are going to hate this a little bit, but try and stay calm. Okay. So it looks like, I mean, I don't want to freak him out. I don't want to freak him out. Yeah, it's going to be slightly annoying because um, wet dogs stink, don't they? Let's be honest, they've got a very fragrant smell, no matter how clean they are. Um, but the most important thing is him. I don't want to freak him out. So we're going to let you air dry then. I'll get another towel and give you a rub down. Um, and then we'll give you a wash afterwards. It's annoying because I wanted to blow and dry you and for it to be over and done quick, but um, whatever's best for him. All right, okay, we really are time sensitive now. Um, I've stolen my mother's hairbrush. Um, she'd freak out if she knew. So we need to get this done, lad, and we need to remove your hair from it um, and probably wash it off before she knows. Um, oh yes, that's much better. There we go, right, that's what I see. I mean, Mum can get another airbrush, maybe just, no, no, she would freak out. We are going to have to hide it back up there. But that's going through his hair lovely now, look at that. Oh yes, lad. Oh yes, lad. Oh, he's liking it as well. I've got a feeling he might want to chew on it, because that's kind of what he wants to do with everything, is to give it a little bite. Um, although he's getting much better. We are a week in the day in now. Um, the toilet training is absolutely smashing. Uh, the only time he really has any accidents is at night. Um, and those are on the puppy pads by the door, which is great. Um, as long as I remember to take him out regularly, he, he will do them all outside now. Uh, he sits, he comes, he lies down. Um, yeah, he's just, he's been smashing his training. And this is, I mean, it's only been basic training this week, you like enrollment, I guess, if we're putting it in army terms. Uh, we're gonna go on to extensive training, to a kind of developed complex training. Um, I think you've got the capacity to learn that. You've got the capacity for greatness within you. Um, so we're going to explore that. We're going to bring it out of him. Um, but at the moment, on the basic levels, he's, you are smashing back doors in, aren't you, basically? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Look at how lovely and fresh he looks now. His legs are proper white now. Not quite that kind of dingy yellow colour that waiting rooms used to go when people were allowed to smoke in them. Um, that's proper nice, his paws as well, look how big they look, they're proper puffy now, look at that, you are going to be a magnificent dog when you grow up mate, you really are, and you're a bloody cute puppy now, now let me get in there, you pout till you're mane or whatever it's called, that bit there, oh yes, he's liking that aren't you, he's interested, he kind of wants to bite it, but he's liking it nonetheless. Right, come on, let's have you up for a minute. Come on, you're lounging around, lying down, aren't you? He's so slovenly. When he's not on it and kind of playing, he just loves to sleep and grow. Um, I'm going to start keeping a, heart, a height chart for him up against a wall, marking it out, because he's grown already. It's been a week, and like, he's noticeably bigger uh, than when I brought him back, that's for sure. Let's do this side of you, little noodle head. You little noodle head. Yes. Right, come on, you're going to have to stand up. You can't, your whole life can't just be flopping around. Come on, up you go. Oh my God, look at it. Look at what I'm working with here, the laziness. Unbelievable, Lenny. You look great, lad. Don't you? You look great. Stop biting it, you little noodle. And we appreciate uh, how calm he is, how good he is, aren't you? Yes, you are, lad. He is going to be the best, well, he already is the best dog in the world, but uh, there's so much room for growth and stuff. He's going to be amazing. You are going to be amazing, lad. As you can see, it's going well. You know, we bonded. I love him. It's going awesome. He's brilliant. Yes, you are. He's responding to his training brilliantly. Yeah, just excellent. Right, Lenny, come on. What is going on? Look at this. Just lying there. Just lying, big lazy bear. Right, there we go. Let's get this side of your oh, doll. Oh my goodness. Alright, I mean that's not too bad. Right, we'll go and clean that up before my mum gets back. Uh, we don't want to upset her. Come on, let's have a look at you all clean. Let's have 
a little comparison for the thumbnail or whatever. Here he is. Lenny has had his first bath. I think we can all agree uh, he's done brilliantly. You look great, don't you? I think he feels great. It seems like he feels great. He seems happy. Interesting little discovery. So, we've just had a delivery through the box, a box. I was opening it, Lenny was very anxious to get in it. Now, I decided, you know what, let him have a little way with it. I popped it down to give it to him, and apparently, Lenny is scared of boxes. He's off. Every time he goes near him, he's off. He runs. I'm about to have a celebratory bath. Um, don't normally talk about these kind of things in my vlogs, kind of the softer side of myself and life. Uh, but I thought it's important too, because I know a lot of guys kind of struggle thinking, you know, oh, you know, taking care of yourself makes you girly and stuff. Um, no, it doesn't. I use a body butter all over me, you know, like a moisturiser. Um, nothing girly about it. Um, and there's nothing wrong with kicking back and relaxing in the bath, even if you want some bubbles or something in there. Uh, if you do have those kind of preconceived ideas and maybe you think of yourself as a man's man, as I do, but I don't struggle to relax in a bath. Um, but I've, I've got a solution for you anyway. Um, rather than having just normal bubbles or something, what you need to get yourself is one of these absolute legendary things. It's called a dragon's egg. Uh, it's a bath bomb, but it's a proper alpha bath bomb, um, as well as smelling nice and stuff. It's like an explosion. By the time you get into the middle of it, it's like a yolk in the middle, uh, all vibrant orange, yellowy, um, like, like a fairy's discharge, a mermaid's discharge, maybe, um, glittery. And also, it's got these little lumps, kind of, again, in keeping with the discharge theme, um, which are actually popping candy. And it's like, yeah, bath is then popping. Um, yeah, so proper alpha, alpha bath accompaniment all right i'm gonna go and kick back with this bad boy now oh my goodness i mean we're on the vinegar strokes now the kind of back end of it but this has been gorgeous it's been like fireworks in here with the popping um that's that's a little bit over the top it hasn't been that violent the popping it's been like popcorn is maybe more apt um kind of moist popcorn um which doesn't make it sound fun at all but it's been wonderful it's been like a pleasure overload that was a 10 out of 10 bath. I feel relaxed. I feel clean, beyond clean. Um, I feel shiny. I smell gorgeous. Um, just, just wonderful. Um, exactly what I needed to kind of relax and clear my head ahead of my work tomorrow. Um, I've very much enjoyed today. Hopefully you guys have. It's been a nice wholesome day. Uh, nice dog vlog. Uh, tomorrow is going to be kind of the opposite. So if you're here for the wholesome content, I hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, if you're here to see me get very real revenge on my skit of a sister uh, and just kind of live my best life, then tomorrow's vlog is probably for you. Um, I'm going to upload this video as soon as I enacted my revenge plan i don't want to give my sister any heads up so uh, whenever this video goes live you know you've got a vlog tomorrow with uh, me wreaking revenge if you've enjoyed it do leave a like always say the same if you didn't do leave a dislike and um, yeah thanks for watching if you made it this far 